Hey everyone, it's Sabrina Jean. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Subscribers, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. I have some messages for you. I'm thinking that I have a confirmation for you, so perhaps this should be the title of this pick a card reading. In the least, there's something that you should know. So, in this video, you can choose the pile, the cover card, the crystal that you were drawn to the most. And so if you want to choose according to crystal, pile one is a pink fluorite. Pile two is a citrine. Pile three is a diamond. And pile four is amazonite. So what is it that you need to know? Uh, what kind of confirmations can I bring through for you today? So take a moment to choose whichever piles you resonate with. And let's get started. Pile one. Hi, Pile One. If you were drawn to the Joyful Muse image with the cat, <laughs> the cat and the fiddle, actually it's a violin, or is it a fiddle? I don't... <laughs> it looks like a violin. Okay, anyway, but you've got a paintbrush here. It's like the art of joyful inspiration with the master number 33, so you might resonate with that number too. For those who are interested or drawn towards this pink um, fluorite crystal, it is very high, loving frequency and vibration. Okay, so what can I share with you today? Actually, should I put this up here? So, dedicate to achieve, okay, so something that you're meant to be doing on your own, Uranus, okay, so right off of the bat, with the number 33, which is a master number, it's mastery of expression or communication, but you also have Uranus here, your first house, Capricorn, meaning this is a reminder or a confirmation that right now, or at least at some point in your life, I'm assuming it would be right now, you're meant to be like recreating yourself, reinventing yourself. If you chose pile one, you have an ingenious mind. You have the capacity to invent things or maybe to invent creative music or maybe even the sound of your voice um, can create inspiration for other people. But first it starts with you. So I think this confirmation or something that you should know, your spirit guides, your healing angels are wanting you to dedicate and to a practice, a daily routine where you fine tune your instrument, which well is your voice your body, your emotions, while at the same time, Uranus Aquarius is going through a lot of changes, especially if your rising sign is Aquarius, because, well, we are about to move into a huge 20-year transit um, with Pluto, astrologically speaking, um, moving through the energy of Aquarius. But I meant, I think that you were meant to be inventing something new or creating something new, but it's probably only something that you will be able to tune into through this new frequency, this new energy or new music. Okay. You are meant to achieve great success through some sort of art form that you create. And I'm hoping that this, in the least, is a uh, confirmation for some of you who are wanting to work on your art, whatever that is. This is a confirmation that, yeah, this you're on the right path. This is what you're meant to be doing. But creation and inspiration, it, it happens differently for each one of us. And it's really important for you to just take time every day to tune into your own inner creativity, your source of inspiration to create whatever kind of art 
um, you feel guided to express. Oh, wow. Okay. Attuned to the divine. Interesting. So this is Pisces energy as well, which might have a particular placement in your astrology chart. I'm not necessarily referring to moon cycles in this video reading, but if you need to like determine a timing or something, the new moon in Pisces, whenever that is meant to happen in the future, is significant for you. But this is a confirmation or an encouragement for you to attune to, well, attune your divine instrument, which is also your physical body, your voice, your heart, your emotions, your gift, your talents. You are meant to be creating something in the physical reality. You're meant to be making concrete this dream, this vision, this art form that can only be created and invented from your mind. Wow, your emotion, your creativity. And this is meant to be something that will stir up humanity in some way, shape, or form. So you might be larger than life, but there is a specific purpose and a unique power that you're here to create and invent. Okay. So you can attune to the divine when, of course, you spend time in nature, in the woods. Water is also very significant for you. So be sure that you're drinking enough clean water pure water. You can even attune your drinking water with certain frequencies that are in alignment with what you're wanting to create. There are codes for that. And it's really as simple as you can hold whatever container is holding your water and with your intention, attune the water with anything, any kind of frequency. And then as you drink your water, uh, you're also attuning your physical body and your emotions to that specific frequency as well. Just a thought, right? Just an idea. You may or may not have listened to my audio that I just released earlier this morning. I did have my own healing process and rituals that I went through during my waking up process and attuning to, well, my divine inspiration. So if you would like to know more specific about what I did, feel free to download my ebook, and the link is going to be down below this video. In a sense, you have like similarities to me. We probably have like inventive minds. You're definitely meant to be a creator or creating something magical, beautiful, inspiring, not only for yourself, but something that you can share with the world as well. Wow. So pile one, this is your quickie. Pick a card reading for today. I hope this confirms something that, you know, you're already aligning with. Maybe you're at the beginning point trying to figure out what you want to pursue. And honestly, it starts with, it starts with you. What do you feel guided towards? Tune into the oneness, spend time in water, Inspire yourself by the beauty of nature and the earth. And start experimenting. That's really where all brilliant ideas begin. So pile one, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do click the like button. Thank you as well for supporting my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all of your super thanks as well. And I wish you a magical day. I'll probably be back later with another quick pick a card reading. So in the meantime, bye for now, and I'll see you in another video. Hey there, pile number two. For those of you who chose the citrine, or maybe you didn't choose the citrine. Maybe the timestamp was significant or you were attracted to the number 26, which reduces to the number eight. Eight is a symbol for 
infinity and your infinite connection. And in this image, you have an infinite connection with the earth. Shall I call it the mystical element? I want to say fairies because what else is here in this image? There's, there are some sort of winged creatures here and I'm not quite sure what they are. You might know what these are. Um, but it's like, I want to see the elementals of Earth. The power of community, the gathering ground. Pile two, you have a message that other people need to hear. Quick confirmations for this video. Okay, 12th house with the number eight, infinity. You might meditate with the symbol eight because it will merge your consciousness with higher consciousness or the higher consciousness that is waiting for you to connect with it. Um, it, will, it will help you to attune with the oneness. Information, okay, that makes sense. So that you can receive, so there, okay, there's also information coming from the earth and the elementals that you resonate with that are part of your spiritual team. They're part of your spirit guides, but they are earth guards because they're creatures. They're living here on the planet. Okay, the north node. So in this life, you are guaranteed success, but not before challenges. You're being challenged um, first and foremost, I think you're being challenged with your North Node transits, which the North Node, it transits the zodiac signs. It usually changes every year or so, it, and it moves through the houses, the different areas of your life every year, year and a half, something like that. It really depends on your personal astrology. But Pile 2, what you really need to hear is that you're meant to be, the challenge is to rise above and to see yourself as a greater part of the whole, the wholeness, the oneness. And so I completely understand being in a position where you don't feel like you connect with anyone or you feel isolated or left out or alone. Thus is part of the challenge. So once you overcome this and you rise above, you raise your vibration, you connect with these other frequencies, the elements, the, <laughs> what did I call them before? And now I don't remember the fairies. There's something in the forest energy that you can connect with. I think the more you spend time in nature or the woods or the forest around life, like the natural cycles of the earth, especially if you communicate with trees and you receive, oh, you can receive vital information about your life path and purpose here and now. In fact, when you connect with nature, you'll receive whatever it is that you need to know, whatever it is that you need to hear today. So as often as you can take to go out and connect with earth energy, the elementals, um, it is guiding you through your life process. Wow. There might be ancient and ancestral or past life information as well that you can receive. What's most important, well, at least in my experience, when I connected with nature, I either just like cleared out my mind altogether so that I wasn't thinking and I simply observed. And I found that when I clear out the space in my head and I'm just enjoying nature, that's when I start receiving insights from my spiritual team. Sometimes we have to get the mind, the thoughts out of the way. We have to get out of our head in order to attune and receive the information and the guidance. And that's what I'm picking up for pile two. There's something greater within you. There is something that you're meant to be rising above. And of course, seeing yourself as a greater part of the whole, because there is something specific that you have um, that other people need to feel or experience, or there's knowledge that other people can only receive through you. So there's something specific about you. 
piled to, and only you, hopefully you already know what this is, right? But so many of us are born into this life thinking that we're undeserving or we're unworthy or we start questioning ourselves like, who am I to think that I've got anything of, you know, value that, you know, who gave me permission to speak my truth? Uh, we all go through those kinds of self-doubt. So I think this is something that you're you're working through now to rise above. And every day that you can create a, a practice for yourself to rise above um, and to see yourself as a greater part of this huge cycle, even if it's a cycle of evolution that's happening on the planet with the weather and the changes in Earth, right? Including, well, the earthquakes are significant all across the planet. It's not just in one country. But there's a significance there for you as well, group two, if you want to tune into those earth um, yeah, events happening within the earth. So I guess it wouldn't only be limited to earthquakes. It could be the volcanoes, the floods, um, you know, the other things that are happening. Wow. Okay, you're meant to step up and lead. Capricorn energy, you might have moon in Capricorn. Your north node might be in Capricorn. And if this is the case, it's like your entire life's challenge to create something and to work, to bring something into manifestation that not only supports you, um, but it's something that will anchor you and ground you and keep you grounded, right, as well. Um, but this is a spiritual it's a spiritual connection. Philanthropy is something that you offer from yourself that doesn't necessarily have a price. But there's so much earth. Okay. So there might be something significant for you to communicate when you connect with animals as well. Okay. The expansion, and these are just general messages, but there's something more to you that is waiting to reveal itself. There is so much more to you than you realize, or maybe what you are allowing yourself to notice. You are worthy. There is more inside of you, more within you that is waiting to evolve and grow. So spiritual abundance is also your birthright. When you rise to the challenge and you connect, with your higher self, the infinity symbol, the symbol number eight, eight or 888 might be the perfect quantum healing code for you, pile number two, if you want to work with that. And okay, you are meant to be creating something new and different with this new moon energy, new moon, Capricorn. And this is, well, a confirmation for you right now. This is part of your life's purpose so there's no rush, obviously, because this is something that you do in your own timing. And please trust and know that you're always in the right place at the right time. And whenever you're ready to step into this new information to create something new, your spirit guides are going to show up to support you with that and to bring you any more information that you need. All you need to do is to put yourself in that space, connect with nature, and to ask your specific question. And then uh, the fruits, the fruits dropping from the tree. This is like the, the knowledge, the knowledge is the knowledge from the tree, little bits and pieces of information, whatever it is that you need to know to manifest something new. You've got the number 37 here, which is significant for manifesting. You have unlimited creative potential energy to manifest anything based on your focused thoughts creative, divine intention. So this is your confirmation. I hope you enjoyed this video today, pile number two. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this, please do click the like button. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I do offer private readings. If you'd like one, uh, feel free to check out my links below. In the meantime, have a wonderful day and I'll be back soon with another pick a card reading. Bye for now.
Hello, Pile 3. For those of you who were drawn to the sacred contract, covenant, image, or the number seven, or of course the diamond, because, well, you are a gem, aren't you? We are all gems <laughs> in our own unique way. All right, how many of you just saw, was that an orb or was that a speck of dust that trickled down? You might want to go back to the video of this, the beginning of this pile. Just as I was putting this down, I saw something. It might have been dust. But. <laughs> no, I lost my train of thought. Okay, pile number three. I have a confirmation or a message for you, something you should know. Okay. <sighs> In this life, you, oh, you are here to reinvent yourself. You are here to create new life. You are here to recreate, reinvent. I feel like you are meant to clear out old karmas break patterns, ancestral, family, relationship. You're definitely here for a very unique, high vibrational, divine purpose. However, the process is what well, resonates with the number seven, and seven in numerology refers to your experiences being that's how you learn. You learn through your life's experiences. Rather than learning from books, you make choices, you challenge yourself, you dare to dream, you conquer, right? Whatever you think that you believe in and you find the confidence and you go after and you probably usually succeed, at least you are meant to succeed in everything that you choose. There's something very bold about you. In fact, it's possible that some of you might have been an only child or you were different from your siblings and you were different from your parents. So this is also saying that maybe the way that you were raised, religion, beliefs, practices, responsibilities, um, aren't anything that you truly resonate with. And this is because you are here to write a new story Okay, but you're also, you've been waiting for this new earth energy to evolve, which in my understanding began after 2012, more recently. You've been waiting for the shifting, like the end of the Mayan calendar, right? Which was the end of 2012, which then allowed for a new earth energy and new earth realities, which there are already different thousands of realities and timelines of new earth. So at any given time, you can shift yourself into any new earth reality that you resonate with, that you align with. So it's possible that in this lifetime, your purpose is to totally change or transform everything that you thought that you were, and to incorporate new definitions, new dreams, new ideals, new beliefs. But you're also meant to be a way shower as well, a way shower for others, because through your actions, other people see what you are doing. And, you know, other people may choose to follow something that you've already done. Wow. Talk about deep, pile number three. Let me put this here. There is a very specific divine purpose and reason for this life that you are living and everything that you're experiencing. Okay, your destiny. Your 10th house, let's look at your other cards. Your vision, Aquarius energy, doesn't have to be, but those just go together on the same card. There will not be anxiety. Pile three, your life, 
in this life is meant to be stress-free and worry-free. This doesn't mean that you won't go through any kind of emotional challenges or traumas because I think we all do that. But this entire life that you're experiencing right now in this incarnation, your avatar, which you were born into, a.k.a. your birthday numbers, your astrology, your numerology, are guiding you to create this vision, this lifestyle that you know that you desire, that you are worthy of and that you are deserving of. And even though it might be a process, through your processes and your experiences, right, your trials and what you choose to conquer or work through or experience are helping you to realize what is important for you to realize. Um, that wasn't even a word. What you need to realize, to let go of, so that you can create a new space to incorporate something new into your vision, into your reality. So this is definitely the Law of Attraction pile. It always shows up in pile number three. Oh, but because three is creative, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the numbers of the piles usually have a certain significance, I think. But in the bigger picture, I'm like getting distracted. Pile three, you're meant to be living um, an easygoing lifestyle full of abundance, knowledge, wisdom, happiness. Um, you're here to create new energy, new realities. New realities. That's not even a word either. Is Mercury still retrograde? I think it is. Realities. Energies. You're meant to be creating oh, and manifesting your own destiny as a career. It's almost like, you know, money aside, there's like a specific lifestyle that you prefer to be living. And this is what you're here to do in this life. You have a vision, you're guided, you feel things, you move in that direction, you break through barriers, you conquer life, you rise above from your experiences, and the life you are living is meant to be a life of ease and joy and happiness. And, well, define purpose. Wow, okay, let's look at your other cards. Dang, speak your world into being. So is this what you're already doing? So new, okay, like moon and Gemini information, when you can probably utilize whenever the moon is in Gemini. It's no longer in Gemini, but it just was the other day. But you can tap into, well, your own Gemini, if you have Gemini in your chart. Um, but you can use the moon phases to retrieve new information. But also to speak affirmations. Because every affirmation or thought that you speak or think, the more you affirm this vision of a new reality that you're wanting to create, the more you are shifting up into higher vibrations, into new dimensions and sometimes the energies of your reality can shift even ever so slightly that it's not a significant change but you sense that something has changed to me it almost kind of feels like a portal so you're shifting upward into this new reality that you're creating for your life uh, one day at a time even one moment at a time, you can shift that quickly if you can focus your energy and your mindset and your intention on that. It's almost like you're shifting up and out of trauma, chaos, pain, um, old cycles, like family patterns. You're also clearing out timelines. You're probably helping to clear out ancestral karmas and stuff that are because the residual energy from the past stays in the earth and I don't think the earth knows how to specifically release all of that resonance 
And honestly, I'm thinking right now the earth is shaking things up because that's its way of cleansing and changing. But there are humans here, and I think you are one of these humans, that are here to help the earth specifically clear out old timelines and resonant energy that's anchored into the earth. Um, so you're also ascending with the earth. And not all of you are practicing these kind of energy tactics, but in the least, this is confirming that you are meant to be creating your own vision, your own world, your own life, your own career, your own destiny. You're here writing your own story, not based on the past, but based on new earth, new frequencies, new intentions. How cool is that? Okay, and then frog spirit. So frogs might be significant for you, or the sound of frogs. So springtime might also be significant for you. And I'm noticing here it looks like a field of um, lavender flowers. So springtime probably is a very, like, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's probably one of... Um, your favorite seasons is the best way. Um, you feel more enlightened. Um, like life is lighting up again. I think, I think you began like the new day chart um, seasons or renewal um, during the springtime. So what is new and different about you? You might also benefit from lavender flowers or teas or essential oils. Uh, it relaxes the body, it relaxes the muscles, and it soothes the mind as well. Okay, which is also helpful to, to soothe the mind. We'll open up and allow yourself to tune into higher frequencies. The mind is always trying to get in the way. The ego mind. The ego mind wants, wants us to keep focusing on something else. The ego wants to be in control. But So you're also meant to be realizing that you have control over your mind. You also have control over your ego. Maybe some of you are going through a process of realizing that. So this is your confirmation that I have for you, pile number three. I hope you enjoyed this. Something I thought you needed to hear. So if you did enjoy, please do click the like button. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I will be back again soon with another picky card reading. Bye for now. Hey there, pile number four, for all of you who chose the Amazonite crystal, or even if you didn't choose the Amazonite, maybe you chose the timestamp, or you were drawn to this benefactor card and imagery. The number three is expressive, it's expansive, it's social, it's communicative. And the message on the cards is benefactor, grace, and generosity. So in the least, this is saying that you are very gracious with your time, your thoughts, and how you communicate. You enjoy communicating with other people. You enjoy sharing information with other people. You enjoy conversation, stimulation in a variety of ways. But what more specifically do you need to know? Okay, something about what you believe your values, Saturn, maturity, limits imposed, houses, the ninth house, your spiritual values. Something is, okay, pile four, this is like a reality check. So, your values, okay, hmm. So in this life or right now, what if you have been experiencing, I don't want to say controversy, 
But if like the people that you used to communicate with are no longer communicating, or if you're finding trouble with your throat chakra, oh, that would make sense with the blue or the Amazonite. If like people that you used to communicate with aren't around anymore, or you're finding it more difficult to communicate with people, there's something that is changing in the way that you communicate, the way that you express yourself. So Saturn is asking you to take a reality check um, and to make sure that the words that you speak are in alignment with your higher values, your spiritual values, and your worthiness. What is it that you want to share with other people? So there's also abundance here. You have an abundance of knowledge. However, maybe the way that knowledge comes out of your mouth doesn't come out the right way. <laughs> and this is part of the... Th one of the things that I think you're meant to be working on or focusing on in, well, your life experiences right now. But when when you think about what you believe and the words that you say, oh, okay, since in the least my YouTube channel is a Law of Attraction channel, right? I hope that I inspire you to create new realities or to shift your realities into something better. But in order to move into a better lifestyle or better ways of communicating, it takes self-analysis to stop and think before we speak. Because honestly, the laws of the universe state that with each word that we speak, but also we, each word that we think, each thought that we think, each emotion that we feel, is creating a new reality from one moment to the next. So you could say that every second we are shifting into a newer reality, depending on where the thought process is. So you can raise your vibration and improve your reality by speaking from a higher perspective, more positive, more optimistic words, optimistic thoughts, op helpful thoughts, helpful thinking. And this includes how you speak to yourself. But as soon as you go back down into like a lower vibration, then you might start attracting or you might actually be changing your reality into one that's harsher. It's like it's got more heavy, dense, dark orange, like frustrating, um, anger, that sort of thing. So I think what spirit and your spirit guides are wanting you to know is like what you choose to believe and what you speak and what you feel is shifting your reality every second. And as soon as you're ready to take responsibility for your thoughts and you take the time to really just think before you speak or <laughs> every time you think a thought, stop with that and ask yourself, is this something that I really believe about myself? So why do I keep reaffirming? this thought or this belief, if it isn't really true, why, 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 right? Oh, why do I keep myself in this, in this viral perpetual pattern of yuck? So it's up to you to choose kindness, choose positivity, choose optimism. You can change your energy. And when you change your thoughts, your emotions, um, and your intentions, you will start, well, you will notice that your reality and what you're feeling is changing, but you will also start attracting new people that you can have like higher minded conversations with if this is what you choose. Okay, so this is the specific message for pile number four today. It's just simply asking you to re-examine what you believe, what you're thinking, what you're saying to other people. And it just takes the slightest adjustment and how the words come out um, that can change your entire reality. Oh. Seriously? Okay, so full moon and Capricorn. I mean, is there any you take a reality check? Well, I got the reality check from Saturn. I'm like, wait a minute. Um, because Saturn does ask you to be realistic. Okay. And so Capricorn might be your north node in your astrology too, or your rising sign. Because I believe we're all being challenged to incorporate our rising sign into our sun sign during our lifetime. So something is being activated within you. 
Oh, look at this, the 36. So whenever I see 36, I think of the 369, that number for Tesla, that brilliant scientist, inventor, philosopher. What do we want to call Tesla? Ingenious. So there is a very high level of intelligence that exists within you. So for those of you who are shaking your head no, saying, no, there's not, then you're not allowing yourself to realize that there is a higher level of intelligence that you have the capacity to align with, to connect with. So for some of you who are experiencing, like maybe if other people don't acknowledge your level of intelligence or make maybe they want you to feel dumb or stupid or unworthy, Stupid? Did I say just... Yeah, I did. My mouth isn't working appropriately today. Other people might be like demeaning of you, making you feel like you're dumb or you're not worthy or you're not intelligent. This is because of how you express. So once you can change how you express your words, and I know it's easier said than done, but you will start proving everyone else wrong. You will then change your reality that you're experiencing and you will start attracting better conversations, more aligned with whatever it is that, you know, um, you would like to discuss or talk about. So at the beginning of your pile, okay, at the beginning of your pile, I was saying that you have, um, you are very generous with what you share with others. But I think that when, when you find a way to communicate in a more, positive or clear way, you're going to start attracting um, different kinds of people, friendships, groups, um, and of course conversations into your world. But you can also shift your reality when you change your thoughts and what you affirm and what you speak and what you feel. But I think first and foremost, this is probably the most important card in your in your pile today, pile four, because it really goes back to what you believe. Do you believe that you are worthy? Do you believe that you are intelligent? Do you believe that you are smart? Are you being realistic? Do you believe that you are spiritual? Do you actually believe all of the words that come out of your mouth? Do you speak without even thinking about it? So change your thoughts, change your mind, change your beliefs, and you will change your reality. You will change your life for the better. And you will start incorporating or attracting more agreeable people. The Amazonite attracts kindness into anybody's reality. Safety, kindness, and for you, um, spiritual values. So something may be activating and opening up within your throat chakra too. Anyway, take some time out to do a reality check. Check with yourself how do you speak. Try to stop and think about what you're about to say before you speak it because it's actually also confirming your present reality. And if you are not enjoying your current life, your present reality, you can change that instantly by speaking differently. Pile four, these are the messages that I have for you today. A confirmation or something that you should know. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do click the like button. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day and I will be back soon with another pick a card reading. Bye for now.